Hey everyone, in this episode I'll be sharing with you five ways on how you can make your bathroom a safer room. Welcome everyone to this episode of the Ask Jason Jellius Show. I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor, and I'm here to share with you some value-packed tips about how you can make your bathroom a safer room. Okay, you may not know this, but your bathroom in any home is one of the most dangerous rooms in your home. Uh, it's more dangerous uh, because of the potential of slips, okay, falls, accidents, you bump your head, whatever the case may be. And that's because this room gets wet. You're walking around with wet feet, uh, maybe you're crawling, wet hands, whatever the case is, okay. It's a dangerous room, believe it or not. And so you wanna make sure that it's safe. Now, before we dive into this awesome content, I just want to go ahead and invite you to follow me on social media. I have those links in the description below. And you can visit my website, it's allaboutthereelestate.com and fill out that pop-up form so that you can receive new episodes in your email once a week. And if you do that, I appreciate it. Now, let's dive into this, okay? So, number one is apply non-slip uh, non-skid type adhesive. Many times they, they just peel off and they go right, right on the floor. I'll throw up a picture here for these, uh, for these tips. But basically, this gives you traction to walk on, whether you're in the shower, coming out of the shower, coming out of the bathtub, in the bathtub, which by the way, every bathtub should have a non-slip mat or something in there, okay? Uh, you can put these in front of the sink as well. These tips are great for just about anyone. Uh, they're especially focused towards the elderly as well, uh, but these can be applied to keep everybody safe. Number two, add grab bars. You've probably seen these, if not, here's a photo, but grab bars on the walls, in the shower. Uh, these are more evasive, meaning they usually screw into the wall, but you want to make sure that you're safe, right? And so we, we, we probably see more of the elderly using these. However, if you're someone that, that has extreme back pain, uh, any other issue that uh, causes you to have fatigue, you probably wanna have these installed in your bathroom. And this can be near the bathtub, near even the toilet to help you get, um, well, down, sit down, and get up, okay? And by the way, the number one, when I mentioned the non-slip uh, adhesive strips, you can do that or a non-slip rug that, or mat, don't do a rug actually, a mat around the front of the toilet that would also help you be able to not slip as well, okay? Number three, place shower seating. They call it shower seating, I guess, but it's seating. You can put this in the shower uh, to help you um, better wash everywhere, okay? It's safer instead of just standing up and trying, you know, whatever, okay? You can have a seat there. You can have a built-in seat, but you can go to, to any, store pretty much i've seen these everywhere and get shower seats with the handles in the seat and uh, they clean up fairly well you can put this in front of the sink um, wherever it makes it easier for you you can even put it in front of the bathtub to help you sit down and then get it into the tub uh, but you can definitely get some some form of shower seat or bathroom seat that is made for that purpose to help you sit down when you're washing up okay Number four, swap out those faucet knobs, those round, oftentimes slippery faucet knobs and get the levers, okay? Again, another photo right here. But basically, it's easier to just uh, use these levers. I personally like levers versus knobs, especially on, on uh, door handles. I just, you know, if you have your, if you have a bunch of bags in, in your hands from the store, you wanna make sure that you can just may, maybe even use your elbow, all right, to open the door. Uh, same goes for faucets. It's just a lot easier to just flip that lever and then switch it back, okay? Number five, consider installing a higher toilet seat. A higher toilet seat will mean less, stre less stress on your back. It'll make it easier for you to sit down and get back up. And it, you, it will also give you better traction, all right, for your feet. You're not, your legs aren't, like the more, the higher up you are on a toilet seat, the more strength you have in your legs and feet towards the floor. And so that's a good idea. And so if you combine that with my, with uh, the first tip about having the non-slip items around the toilet and all that, shower, bathtub, sink, don't forget about the sink, by the way, okay? Um, but that, you know, the, this is a great way to help you get on and off the toilet better, along with all these other tips that I share, especially this, the safety bar. So I hope you guys found this valuable. 
Share, you know what? Share your thoughts in the comments. Um, do you have a tip that I didn't cover? Do you, do you have an idea? Do you have a friend or a family member that has done something uh, to add safety in their bathroom and you thought it was cool? Whatever the case is, just share your thoughts. Um, or even tell me what you thought about this episode. So, and if you, of course, if you have a real estate question, you can go ahead and put that in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor, and I appreciate you watching.